Hey, sorry my other video got cut off a little bit quick because there's a 10 minute limit on these things. I'm going to start the other question over. Uh, number one on the additional questions to think about part. One, in the process of finding the right treatment plan for you, what did your parents do to help you? Uh, nothing. They, it isn't their job to help me because depression is a solitary thing. Something that as hard as people try and understand it, they can't. That's why it's so hard to write about depression, because it's hard to give a verbal feeling of how deep the resentment and hatred and feel of uh, being cut off from society is. You can't tell people about that, especially parents who you're afraid are going to judge you. You can tell your friends about it. You can't tell a therapist about it. You can't tell your parents about it. You can't tell a government figure about it. You certainly can't tell the... No police about it. Uh, there's nothing you can do really except tell your friends and see if there's a community for you out there. Commiserate with people, you know. I mean, don't, you know, lay around in your pity, but perhaps discuss your experiences and that helped me. My parents couldn't though, unfortunately. Uh, number two, in the process of finding the right treatment plan for you, what did your parents do that did not help you? Uh, parents are cynical, and they rely on old world messages to get across a new age point of view. They're trying to connect with young kids, and they can't, because they don't understand. Don't typecast me as the sad emo boy here, but... Parents can't really logically understand what you're going through, even if they went through a remarkably similar situation. My dad uh, says he went through a period of depression whenever he was going through heavy drug use. My mom went through depression, seriously, throughout her childhood. But it's different for every person, and you can't expect that that's going to be the same for everybody. So parents trying to, you know, fix you is wrong and being cynical and hypocritical and trying to compare yourself to, to us is bullshit so uh, that's what my parents didn't uh, help in, in doing number three how has your relationship with your parents changed since your diagnosis uh... i self-diagnosed for a long period of time and i'm pretty sure my uh, there was never a conclusive diagnosis with my psychiatrist or, or uh, any of the people we went to, uh, they pretty much focused on my attention deficit disorder, which they thought hurt my schoolwork, because it's very hard to be indoctrinated whenever you're being creative and free thought and loving yourself. Bullshit, you know, hippie bullshit, loving yourself, you know. Be a robot, be a cog, totally. You know, so, I self-diagnosed, and... For a period of time, it was hard to explain it to people who asked, and it's impossible to tell people who didn't ask. Whenever you say, I self-diagnose myself with bad, bad sadness, they're going to look at you and they're going to laugh. They're going to think you're a pussy, a poet type, the Billy Corgan who's going to cry in the corner and cut themselves. And they're going to say, screw you. Buddy, you know, but that, you know, there's that. My, my, uh, my, uh, my relationship with my, uh, you know, parents certainly can't change, uh, once a diagnosis. It, it, a formal diagnosis, if anything, as I found out, they diagnosed me with ADD. Uh, once they diagnose anything, your parents feel like they're either A, the crusader for the cause where they tell everybody how to take care of their, their kid and tell everybody that their kid has ADD or whatever or you know Asperger's or whatever they think you have or they make fun of you that's just how parents are it's old school shit number four what do you wish your parents had known about depression before you were diagnosed well you see if my parents knew anything about depression they would have probably had a better grip on what was going on in my life for a long time. 
but with depression, you kind of want to push people out of your life, unless you voluntarily take them into your life. Like your friends, you meet them, and you bring them into your life, and then you tell them your deepest, darkest secrets, but your parents, you were born with them, they've been here for a long time, they're not going to do anything for you, you can't Im impose your idea upon them, but with your friends you can, because you choose to, and if they don't like it, you can find a new friend. You know, so I wish my parents had probably, you know, understood me a little bit better and understood depression a little bit better before I was diagnosed. Number five, and our last question, I believe, for the evening. What do you think parents have to overcome in order to help their child in defeating, uh, in dealing with a depressive disorder? Well, let's see. Uh, I think that uh, parents need to understand that there is a dichotomy between what you can tell your parents and what you can't tell your parents. By butting into their lives, you're making the depression worse. I'm not saying don't be active in your child's life if they want you to, but don't impose yourself, which is what 99% of depressive children's parents do. They think, oh, my kid's gonna, my kid's gonna go off and tell people he's gonna kill himself, and then I'm gonna look like a bad parent, so I should stomp on their originality and their individuality by imposing my childhood ethics on them or whatever and being the big bad you know dad or mom or whatever I think that what has to be overcome by parents uh, before they can do anything for their kids is knowing that if we're not gonna let you into our lives you're not gonna be there until a child, or anybody for that matter, voluntarily allows you into their psyche, you're not going to be in there. It's not, it's, they make it out to be so simple, uh, as if you talk, if you sit down with your son and say, son, I heard, I think you're depressed. It'd be simple like that. But what they need to understand is that we're individuals, and that the best thing to do is understand yourself before you ever go off and try anything with anybody else. I hope this uh, webinar has been helpful for you in understanding depression, if I can help at all. Um, also, this is going to be going on for the Families for Depression Awareness. Uh, you guys are doing a fantastic job. I'm glad you guys are going on, and uh, I hope that everybody can understand themselves a little bit better so they can live their life to the fullest. Uh, have a good night, and uh, I love you, YouTube.